In our lives, there is undoubtedly an important indicator that people pay attention to, and that is personal deposits. Whether it is to prepare for future expenses or to prepare for unexpected changes, saving money is important to everyone. However, when we see some data, we may have some new understanding of our deposits. 1. The average savings of Chinese households According to statistics, the average deposit amount of Chinese families is 225,400 yuan, equivalent to about 31,400 US dollars. This data seems to be quite high, which seems to indicate that the overall economic situation of Chinese families is relatively stable. However, this is not the case in reality. If you save more than this amount, you are definitely a rich man. 2. The gap between the rich and the poor is large, and the actual deposit amount of ordinary people is lower than the average data although the average deposit amount is relatively high, we have to face reality. The gap between rich and poor is widening, and the actual deposit amount of ordinary people is often much lower than this average data. This means that most people's savings situation is not optimistic. 3. Why is there such a large gap between the rich and the poor? For this problem, we need to think from many aspects. The widening gap between rich and poor is not only caused by uneven income distribution, but also by various factors such as unequal educational opportunities and unfair employment opportunities. The solution of these problems still needs us to pay more efforts. 4. If your deposit is higher than this number, you have surpassed most families, but if your household savings are above that average, no matter how small, we applaud you. You've outdone most families, which means you're doing an excellent job of managing money and saving. This is further proof of your keen sense of money and correct financial concepts. 5. How can ordinary people get more income? Whenever we talk about personal savings, we can't help but think why some people can accumulate more wealth, while most families can only stop at mediocrity. This is not only the result of individual efforts, but also closely related to the distribution of wealth in the whole society. On the one hand, there is a huge gap between the rich and the poor in China. The rich tend to concentrate their wealth in the hands of a few people, while the wealth accumulation of ordinary people is far from comparable. This has resulted in a large gap between the actual deposit amount and the average data. So how can we move beyond most families to achieve financial independence and well-rounded development? 1. Reasonably plan consumption and savings The first step to financial independence is establishing a reasonable budget and spending habits. Be clear about your monthly income and expenses, make saving a fixed expense, and stick to saving a portion of the money each month. Only by controlling consumption desires can we slowly accumulate wealth. 2. Actively seek investment opportunities Simply relying on deposit interest growth is not enough. We also need to explore more investment opportunities. We can choose to invest in stocks, funds, real estate, or other potential areas, so that funds can be better utilized and value added. 3. Learn financial knowledge To achieve financial independence, we need to continuously learn financial knowledge and improve the level of investment. Understanding different financial products and learning to analyze market trends are the necessary foundations for successful wealth management. 4. Improve self-competitiveness Whether you are engaged in business operations or professional skills, improving your own competitiveness is the key to achieving financial independence. Active learning, learning new knowledge and skills, and continuous self-improvement are essential. In short, the fairness and transparency of wealth distribution is one of the keys to solving the widening gap between rich and poor. We call on the governments of all countries to step up reform efforts, break down the barriers of solidified classes, and create a fair employment environment for the entire society. Whether we have saved more than most households or far below, the most important thing is that we always maintain a positive attitude. Wealth is not the only indicator of a person's success. The value and meaning of our life is far more than that. Let us meet the challenges of the future with a positive attitude, strive to achieve our life goals, and show our life value on a broader stage.